Ezra, part one. The proclamation of Cyrus. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, so that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and also put it in writing. Whoever is among you of all his people, may his God be with him and let him go up to Jerusalem. Everyone whose spirit God has stirred to go up to rebuild the house of the Lord that is in Jerusalem. Cyrus brought out the vessels that Nebuchadnezzar has carried away. The exiles return. Now these were the people of the province who came up out of the captivity of those exiles. The number of the men of the people of Israel, the priests, the Levites, the temple servants, all the temple servants and the sons of Solomon's servants were. The whole assembly together was 42,360. Now the priests of the, of the Levites, some of the people, the singers, the gatekeepers, and the temple servants lived in their towns and all the rest of Israel in their towns. Rebuilding the altar. <clears throat> And they built the altar of the God of Israel, and they kept the Feast of Booths. But the foundation of the temple of the Lord was not yet laid. So they gave money to the masons and the carpenters, and food and drink and oil to the Sidonians and the Tyrians to bring cedar trees from Lebanon to the sea, to Joppa, according to the grant that they had from Cyrus, king of Persia rebuilding the temple. Now in the second year, old men who had seen the first house wept with a loud voice when they saw the foundation of this house being laid, though many shouted aloud for joy. Adversaries opposed the rebuilding. Let us build with you. You have nothing to do with us in building a house to our God, as King Cyrus, the king of Persia, has commanded us. Then the people of the land, dis land discouraged the people of Judah and bribed counselors, and in the reign of Ahasuerus, in the beginning of his reign, they wrote an accusation against the inhabitants of Judah and Jerusalem. <clears throat> the letter to King Actaxerus. In the days of Actaxerus, Bislam and Misradath and Tabil and the rest of their associates wrote to our tax races, king of Persia, they are building that rebellious and wicked city. They are finishing the walls and repairing the foundations. They will not pay tribute, custom, or toll, and the royal revenue will be impaired. We make known to the king that if the city is rebuilt and its walls finished, you will then have no possession in the province beyond the river. The king orders the work to cease. The king sent an answer, therefore, make a decree that these men be made to cease and that the city be not rebuilt until a decree is made by me. Then when the copy re read before Reham and Shishaya, the scribe of their associates, they went in haste to the Jews at Jerusalem, and it ceased until the second year. Rebuilding begins anew. But the eye of their God was on the elders of the Jews, and they did not stop them until the report should reach Darius, and then an answer be returned by letting concerning it, by a letter concerning it. Tataniah's letter to King Darius. This is a copy of the letter that Tataniah, the governor of the province beyond the river, since to Darius the king, therefore, if it seems good to the king, let search be made in its in the royal archives there in Babylon, Babylon, to see whether a decree was issued by Cyrus the king for the rebuilding of this house of God in Jerusalem, and the king sent us his pleasure in this matter. The decree of Darius. Search was made in Babylonia, 
in the house of the archives, a scroll was found, Cyrus the king. Moreover, I make a decree regarding what you shall do for these elders of the Jews for rebuilding of this house of God. May the, may the God who has caused him his name to dwell there overthrow and dwell there overthrow and king or people who shall put a hand to alter this or to destroy this house of God that is in Jerusalem, I dare to make a decree that it be done with all diligence. The temple finished and dedicated. And this house was finished on the third day of the month of Adar in the sixth year of the reign of Darius the king. Passover celebrated on the 14th day of the first month. The returned exiles kept the Passover and kept the feast of unleavened bread. For the Lord had made them joyful and had turned the heart, turned the heart of the king of Assyria to them so that he aided them in the work of the house of God, the God of Israel. Ezra was sent to teach the people. Now after this, in the region of our, in the reign of Artaxerxes, king of Persia, Ezra the son of Azariah, son of Hilkiah, son of Shalom, Zadok, Atal, Mariah, Ezra, Maniah, Zariah, Uzzah, Bukha, Abusha, Pinehas, Eliezer, Aaron, the chief priest. This Ezra went up from Babylonia he was a, skill, a scribe skilled in the law of Moses, and there went up also to Jerusalem in the seventh year some of the people of Israel, priests, Levites, singers, gatekeepers, and the temple servants. For Ezra had set his heart to study the law of the Lord and to do it and to teach the statutes and the rules in Israel. And I, our taxers, the king, make a decree to all the treasures in the province beyond the river. What? What? Over Ezra the priest and its described requires of you, let it be done with all diligence. Genealogy of those who returned with Ezra. These are the heads of their father's houses, and this is the genealogy of those who went up with me from Babylonia in the reign of Artaxerxes, says the king, the sons of Ezra sends for Levites. I gathered them to the river that runs to Ahaba, and there we camped three days. Then I sent for Eleazar, Ariel, Ariel, Shemariah, Lilithan, Jer, Il, Il, Nathan, Nathan, Zechariah, and Mishaim, Jorab, and Ilf, Ilf, Nathan. And by the good hand of our God on us, he brought us a man of discretion of the sons of Ahaliah, the son of Levi, son of Israel, namely Sherebiah with his sons and kinsmen, 18. Also Hashabiah, Josiah, and the sons of Mariah. Fasting and prayer for protection. Then I proclaimed a fast there, for I was ashamed to ask the king for a band of of soldiers and horsemen to protect us against the enemy on our way since we had told the king the hand of our God is, is for good on all who seek him and the power of, the, of wrath is against all who forsake him and he listened to our entreaty priests to guard offerings and I set apart twelve of the leading priests on the fourth day within the house of our God the silver and the gold and the vessels were weighed into the hands of Merimoth the priest, son of Uriah, and with him as Eliezer, the son of Pinehas, and with them were the Levites, Jozebad, the son of Jeshua, and Nobadiah, the son of Benua. Ezra prays <clears throat> about intermarriage. The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the peoples of the lands with their abominations from the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jezebites, the Ammonites, Moabites, Egyptians, Amorites, where they have taken some of their daughters to be wives for themselves and for their sons. But now for a brief moment, favor has been shown by the Lord our God to leave us a remnant and to give us a secure hold within his holy place. The people confess their sin. Now then make a confession to the Lord. 
the God of your fathers, and do his will. Separate yourselves from the peoples of the land and from the foreign wives. Then all the assembly answered with a loud voice, It is so. You must do as you have said. And all and by the first day of the first month, they had come to the end of all the men who had married foreign women, those guilty of intermarriage. No, now there were found some of the sons of the priests who had married foreign women. All these had married foreign women, and some of the women had even borne children.